stage with the bands and out front with the fans. This is Virgin Radio. Hello, welcome to the Isle of Wight. You're looking well Thank and happy. You. Are you feeling well and happy? Yeah, I'm great now. You know, the, the set went so well today. It really did. And uh, I was a little bit nervous. It's my first UK festival in six years. Wow. Um, so I didn't quite know what to expect. But I was here just enjoying the festival last year and it really is such a lovely, lovely festival. I think if anybody's never been to a festival, this is the one to come to. This is the one to bring your kids to because it's so relaxed. There's a great atmosphere, you know, it's a lovely festival. Yeah, it does have that atmosphere. Yeah, yeah definitely. So, so you were here last year with, yeah. with um, Coldplay headlining? Yeah, Coldplay. I saw Coldplay. I was actually here because a friend of mine, Cat Head, were playing. They were on quite early on the Sunday and we just stayed and we just had the best day. It was fantastic. Did you camp or did you do I didn't camp. I was staying in a hotel. Um, but I was only here because I was at a wedding the day before, so we got here a bit bleary-eyed anyway. And I think I was actually the last person on site. So uh, <laughs> I, I, got, I was I was holding it down in the day because, you know, you know there's press everywhere. And then by the night I was like, where's the beer? So <laughs> I was just a bit the, of a monster the in the night. Hotel? I got on the Guinness and that's my downfall, <laughs> you see. <laughs> so having played it, obviously, is that why you decided to, well, well having been here as a punter, yeah. is that why you decided to play it? Well, you know, I will play anywhere and everywhere. You yeah, know, I love gigging, and um, to be asked was was just an honour. I think hats off to you. I think you've got balls to come and do festivals because I think, obviously, people are here. Well, imagine people are here essentially to see the Stones tonight. Yeah. Um, although, actually. You fit very well with Paolo Nassini and, you know, that. Yeah, so. I think so. Today is quite chilled, really, you know, because yeah. you've got Keane on the bill as well. Yeah. So it's, it's a quite laid-back day. And I think by Sunday, everyone's ready to just chill out, especially when the weather's good. Um, but the thing is, with all festivals now, you know, they sell out so quickly, you don't even know who's on the bill. Mm. And the tickets are already gone. So, I, you know, I think the, the British festival scene is the best in the world. You know, because I do loads of festivals in Europe, but I yeah. just think the calibre of the artists that we get in the UK is just the best. Have you had any grotty festival experiences? <laughs> I did a really funny festival. I was in Denmark on Friday and um, we did a festival called Haze Over Harlem and it was brilliant but it was baking. It was hotter than here today and everyone was absolutely bratted. And it was so funny because I just, I actually had to stop singing at one point because I was giggling because like there was guys in the audience and they were like going, oh, show us your boobs, show us your boobs. <laughs> and, 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 and like women just jumping up and down and, and like, you know, oh, Older ladies, like you know, like in their mid fifties, like singing at you really aggressively, and just everybody was so tanked up. It was bizarre but brilliant at the same time. Do you like playing festivals? Because obviously you've played like you know major arenas yeah. and everything else. Do you know what's fun about festivals? You never know what you're going to get. Mm. You know, you never know what your sound's going to be like. You know, you're usually going on without a sound check, so yeah, you're feeling in the dark. You go out there, you don't know how the audience are going to be. You don't don't know how many people are going to turn up. Sometimes if the weather's useless, you know, yeah. you can get half the capacity, and then it looks a bit of a sorry state so um it's always exciting so basically what you're saying is had we done this interview prior to you being on stage you might have been a bit tenser <laughs> yeah, than you are now absolutely I, it was so funny as i was walking up to the stage i was really nervous and i actually felt like i wasn't here i think that was probably the the best way to go on had a bit of an out of body experience, yeah absolutely like, yeah yeah no to be honest i, I thought you did a great set and, and you went Thank down you. brilliantly with the crowd you yeah, know they were you know, loving you i knew a lot of people wouldn't know especially my new stuff you know because my album's out, is quite new at the moment yeah. um but they were up for it they were loving it so well also because you were pretty upfront about it you said look you might yeah. not know this stuff yeah. but have a listen yeah. if you like it great See what you think if you don't yeah. such a <laughs> i'm having a great time i'll be sticking around I'll enjoy with the myself anyway <laughs> are you sticking around for the States. I'm going to see half of the set, um, but unfortunately we go back to London tonight because it never ends. I'm working tomorrow, so I've got to get back. So yeah. um, have you got a busy yeah. time of it for the rest? Yeah, of Yeah, it's crazy at the moment. Um, my single's out on the 18th of June, which is a week tomorrow, I think. Yeah, uh, Carolina. So it's got yeah, a, bit of a Chili Peppers vibe that new single. It has. I think. It has. Yeah. I mean, they've definitely been an influence on this track. They're one of my favourite bands. Yeah. So um, yeah. Have you I'm seen the Chili Peppers that. live? Yes, I saw Chili Peppers at Reading yeah. from the side of the stage. That was amazing. What else is on your iPod? Are you kind of more of a rock? I like my chip, rock. So? Yeah, I like my rock. I like my indie rock as well. You know, loads of great British bands at the moment. I love Kaiser Chiefs. I love Maximo Park. I love Claxons. I love Paolo Nettini and James Morrison. And I just think the British music scene at the moment is the best it's been in such a long time there's so many bands it's brilliant and if somebody had told you say I don't know 10 years ago that you're going to be you know on the same lineup as the Rolling Stones mm -hmm. with, with having like 
okay. I, I probably would have went, too right, yeah. <laughs> I think I was so confident when I was younger. I was just like, yeah, I can conquer the world. <laughs> and then, you know, of course you realise it's not that easy. But, um, you know, if you keep working hard enough, you never know. Sometimes it happens. Absolutely. Well, good luck to you with the Thank album. Thank you very and, uh, much. It, you were really great today. Thank great you. set. Cheers.